So in 2025, designers are depending upon the AI too much and forgetting to learn the skills which is very much needed to produce quality work. That's why in this video, I'm gonna show you four tricks in Illustrator which will help you in 2025. Well, let's dive in. We're gonna create the first effect which is this 3D mobile object. For that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first select the design and you'll have this panel over here. It's called symbols. If you're not finding it anywhere, you just go to windows and you'll find it over here. Just click on it and you'll have the panel over here and then select the design and click on this plus icon and click OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a curved line. So for that, we'll use this tool. You'll find this under line segment tool. Just select it and click and drag and then you'll have your curved line. So I'm going to select that and go to effect materials and I'm going to select this last option and you'll get the 3D panel and here I'm going to increase the depth to 500 so you can increase it according to your design width so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna click the map art and i'm gonna click this forward option and then i'm gonna go to here symbols and we'll have the recent selected symbol over here and it's added now i'm gonna click scale to fit and then we're gonna click invisible geometry what this does is it copies the design both sides so i'm gonna click ok and if we move this 3d thing you'll also you can also move the design so for now i'm gonna keep it like this and i'm gonna click ok now when you select it and when you rotate it the design rotates like this so you'll have this 3d moving object you can place it however you required for your design if you want to make more curve for that you can just go here and select the direct selection tool and you can just click here and you'll have the anchor points and you can just move it to make it more curved like this something like this and we can rotate it accordingly that's how you create this 3d moving effect now we're gonna see the second effect how to do it so first type the text and select it and do the expand over here to object and expand it so when this is done just select the pencil tool you can use even brush tool also so i'm gonna select the stroke to some warm color I'm going to increase the stroke to be more visible and I'll just fix this. Okay, so now uh, the curve is drawn. Now I'm going to keep that effect by selecting the stroke and go to object and I'm going to expand this as well and select the both and go to object. Select this option interpret wine and click on make. So when you zoom in and you just click on it so it will go behind it in that way you can just keep that effect like the stroke is going through the letters so that's how you do it so i'm going to show you how to create this third effect which is this metaball liquid effect so for that we're going to select this epilepsy tool and we're going to create a circle and then we're going to duplicate it and we're going to decrease the size of this and we'll place it here and we'll select both and we'll right click and select this option make compound path then go to effect path and offset path so i'm going to increase this to 80 and i'm going to select this option as round and click ok and then again go to effect path and offset path and this time i'm going to select minus 80 and this one i'm going to select round again and i'm going to click ok and that's how you create this effect finally we're going to see how to create this blend effect uh, using this gradient shapes so first we're going to create a shape then uh, you keep the color ready over here so that you can just select the picker tool and you can just select the color and then you duplicate it and reduce the size of the other one and place it on the top then select both and go to object blend and make blend so now you'll have this uh, tool over here just select that blend tool and you'll get this panel over here you just select steps and then try increasing the steps until it's it looks very smooth and then click on ok and now if you move the small circle like this so you'll have this cool blend effect which you can use you can also increase the steps to make it more smoother so you'll have this cool blend effect you can just rotate it accordingly and play around with it and that's all for this video hope this video is informative please do like and subscribe i'll get back to you with another useful video see you all